like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Why is it that a baby animal of any species of the world is instantly cute? It seems that there are just some things that science simply cannot explain. Baby animals are adorable, and I refuse to apologize for loving every image and video of them I can get my hands on. So today I have compiled a list of the top 10 cutest baby animals that will make your day. Let's begin. Number 10. Panda Teddy bears got nothing on a newborn baby panda. Pandas are born looking like baby badgers, furless, pink, and blind. The iconic black and white color only comes later after about three weeks. These adorable creatures spend up to 14 hours a day lazily rolling around and eating bamboo while sleeping two to four hours between each meal. Even as adults, they do the same thing. Although they do grow sharp teeth and have the digestive tract of carnivores, they don't really have the energy to chase anything, so their prey would virtually have to land in their lap for them to eat any meat. Even as full-grown adults, these peaceful vegetarians remain just as fluffy and adorable. Also, can we all just collectively agree that anything with panda in the name is adorable? Baby pandas are only three and a half ounces at birth. Mama pandas are extremely careful with their cubs and carry them around in their paws and nurture the little bundles of adorableness until they're able to move around on their own, which may take a while since cubs don't even open their eyes for up to eight weeks. Number 9. Sloth No need to rush with this entry because sloths certainly take their sweet time, even at birth. Many baby animals are close to their mothers, but none are as clingy as the sloth, who literally clings to its mother with its trademark claws. You must have seen these pictures on the internet before. This clingy action goes on for up to 8 months until Sloth Jr. is strong enough to let go, but even then it stays close to its mother's side for as much as 4 years. This may not seem like a long time in human terms, but compared to other animals, baby sloths are pretty late to the whole surviving on their own party. But when evolution has turned them into the laziest animal on the planet, can we really blame them? Number 8. Tigers Here's another animal that will scare you once it reaches adulthood, but until then, it will make you want to cuddle and hold it tightly. The cheetah is not only the fastest animal on land, but it is also a very intimidating creature. However, their babies are the total opposite. They are so cute and small that you'll just want to hold them and pet them. Weighing less than a can of soda, baby cheetahs are defenseless and very dependent on their mothers. They are born in groups of three and sometimes even five cubs in one go. While the adult version of this animal is popular for their spotted fur, the cubs have darker, ash gray colored fur that helps them stay safe and camouflage from any danger. They have a sort of mohawk haircut along with the fur. That's a mantle and it helps them stay hidden from predators, but more important than their camouflage is their protective mom, who will stay by their side and keep them on the move in order to stay away from animals that might want to attack them. By the time these babies are 5 months old, you can expect them to start wrestling each other and playing rough. Number 7. Penguins Clumsy and fluffy are two of the characteristics that make the next baby so cute. The baby penguins. The smallest of them all, the fairy penguin, comes to the world with only 35 grams of weight, looking almost like those baby chicks you see at the farm. But there's also another kind of penguin called emperor, which can weigh 315 grams at birth. And that's one you might remember since it's from the movie Happy Feet. Did that movie make you think baby penguins are adorable? Well, wait until you see the real life version. They're honestly way cuter and far clumsier. Most penguins lay two eggs at a time, while king and emperor kings do just one. Living in such cold weather, baby penguins tend to stick together, providing heat to each other. This way, the adult penguins can also watch over them just to make sure they're safe. Gotta watch out for the babies. Number 6. Fox Before they grow into the beautifully vicious animals we know them to be, these creatures start off as the fluffiest little cubs. When the fox pups are born, they are unable to see, hear, or walk, and their mother must take good care of them. When the pups are young, their father hunts and brings back food for the family. Foxes show great caring, adaptability, and intelligence when raising their young ones. They might even be closest to humans when it comes to raising kids. As seen in a story reported in May of 2009, a baby fox club was once caught in a snare for two weeks before being rescued. While he was unable to escape and badly injured, he survived only because his mother brought him food daily while he was trapped. This act of love is not seen amongst all animal species, but we do know mothers would do anything for their kids. 
Number 5. Polar Bears Every year around December and January, a new batch of polar bears is welcomed into the Arctic. It's a fascinating time for polar bear families because these little ones usually come in pairs and sometimes they even welcome three of these cute babies simultaneously. The mother usually gives birth once every three years, but some bears might give birth every two years in some areas. Once the babies are delivered, they stay with their moms until the spring towards the end of March and the month of April. Their most preferred activities are nursing and lots of cuddles from their moms because their fur is not developed enough to help them withstand the cold. Another interesting fact is that these cubs are born with their eyes closed, which keeps them quite inactive for the first stage of their life. Number 4. Wombat Look at this adorable fluffy animal! The wombat baby is born weighing only 1 14th of an ounce. After birth, the cub is immediately placed in the mother's bag, where he grows and gains weight over the next 5 months. After these 5 months, the cub begins to go out but still spends a lot of time in her mother's bag for several more months. The wombat mom's pouch opens backwards, not forwards, unlike other pouched mammals. This allows them to keep their baby's room clean and prevents damage while walking to avoid falling out. The baby also clings to his mother's nipple like other intellectual animals. Little wombats are very playful. Their favorite fun things to do is play tag while in captivity. They can react and play even with human kids, and just as easily with other wombat babies. The childhood of wombats lasts quite a long time, up to one and a half years, and sometimes even up to three years. Number 3. Hippos Hippos are massive animals, but have you seen their babies? They're so small and weigh so little compared to the sizes of their adult counterparts. In fact, a baby pygmy hippo, which is native to West Africa, weighs just a little more than some of the big newborn human babies. And still, hippos only spend 8 months inside their moms. That's even less than most humans. And just like all mammals, hippos need their mamas for nursing. But in the case of hippos, they learn to do it underwater. Hippos spend at least 16 hours in the water, so their babies develop a skill that allows them to keep their ears and nostrils closed while they get food from their mom. But interestingly enough, they don't swim. Number 2. Deer when you see these little critters at birth, hunting is the last thing on your mind. Deer are known for being calm and gentle animals. Baby deer are called fawn and are quickly recognized by their fluffy white tails and big antlers. After birth, these helpless little babies are often left alone while their mothers go off to feed. She will stay away from the fawns to avoid leading predators to her young children, but she will return twice a day to feed them. Female fawns will usually become independent from their mother after they turn two years old, but young bucks leave after after a year, but let's be honest, I wish they would stay cute little babies forever. Number 1. Elephant A baby elephant is called a calf and 99% of them are born at night. This cuteness weighs in at about 200 pounds at birth. They cannot see very well at first, but they can recognize their mothers by touch, scent, and sound. Calves are born with adorable curly black or red hair on their foreheads. At first, baby elephants don't really know what to do with their trunks. They will playfully swing them around and sometimes even step on them by mistake. They will even suck on their trunk the same way a human baby might suck its thumb. Baby elephants drink up to 3 gallons of milk a day, even though they begin eating some plants like adults at about 4 months old. They continue to need milk from their mother for up to 10 years of age. Well, that's it for this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed it, and please let me know which of these baby animals did you find the cutest. Drop a comment and let me know. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing and consistent content. Thanks for watching.